On today's streaming tricks, I'm gonna show you how to add a countdown timer to your live stream really easy. So let's get to it. This is just one of the countdown timers you'll find if you go into scripts, you can search countdown. I chose this one because it's kind of intuitive. It's gonna drop the actual end numbers so that you're only going to get the minutes and seconds and then you're only going to get the seconds once the minutes drop off. And I kind of like that. But there are a whole bunch of different scripts that you can download that are countdown timers and they're all going to load up and work basically the same. So this is the OBS Lao Countdown Adaptive Timer 1.0 and I click the download button. You can see it's a Countdown Adaptive Time LAU file or LUA file. And once that's downloaded on our system, we just flip over into OBS and I have a background loaded where I want my countdown timer to show up. So I'm just gonna go up to tools and then scripts and I'm going to click the plus button and I'm just going to go to my downloads folder where I just put that script I downloaded. I'm gonna select it and click open. And there we go, now our countdown timer is loaded up. But you can see that we need a text source. It has a duration, a start text, a final text, and a reset button. That's all there is to this script. So let's add our text. I'm gonna click the plus here. I'm gonna go to text GDI and I'm just gonna name this countdown and I'm gonna click OK. And I'm just gonna click OK here. We're not even gonna really put it in there. The next thing I'm gonna do is go over into my scripts again and I'm gonna put in the text source. Now keep in mind that this is case sensitive. So since I spelled countdown with a capital C, I'm gonna have to spell it with a capital C over here as well. And once I type that in, you can see our countdown timer shows up. Currently it's only five seconds. So I'm just going to modify this. We'll put 100 seconds on the clock. Now the start text with the colon obviously puts in the time after the colon. So just keep that in mind. And you can modify this text. And the reason why I like this particular countdown timer is because you'll see here when the minutes are finished counting down, it'll automatically truncate and go just to the seconds. And there you go. So now we just have seconds in there. So that's kind of nice. So let's close this up for a second and I'm going to go and just move this into the center. I'm going to right click on countdown and go to properties and obviously this works like any other text. So I can select a font and click OK and any of the other text features that are normal I can put in here. So I can add a gradient and I can just go in here and select the color. We'll try this yellow color here and click OK. And now you can see we added a gradient to our font. And you can mess around with that. There's all kinds of cool stuff you can do with the text features. And once it's done counting down, you can see it gives that final message live now. So let's go back into scripts. And you can obviously adjust the duration and the text. So let's say you were doing video games or something like that. You can use this for a video game timer. Let's say you're doing a speed run and you can put your start text, uh, you know, speed run and your seconds up there. And when your final text comes in, it can say, I didn't make it or whatever. You can also use this countdown timer for a be right back scene. So you can type be right back and then your final text could be I'm late or something like that. You can move these around obviously and resize them just using the little red buttons on the corners and resize it with the corners, move it around, and I'll just change the end text here to I'm late, and we'll change this duration to seconds so you can see what that does. And here we go. And once the countdown timer is completely finished, it will say I'm late. Now you can get countdown timers that will actually do something similar, but instead of moving on to different texts, it will automatically switch you over to another scene or something like that. So all you have to do is go and check out the different countdown timers they have. You can download the ones you want. They're all going to work basically exactly the same as this one. Obviously there's a link in the description to this countdown timer so you can go ahead and click down below if you want to check this one out. Super easy. This was an excerpt of this week's Stream on the Edge show. If you wanna see the whole thing, you can check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.